Hello, friends. Welcome back to Miss Kelly's Circle Time. Well, today is Wednesday, June 10th, 2020. And today's weather is sunny. Another sunny day. We're getting a lot of sunshine lately, and I'm all about it. I am loving the springtime. But guess what, guys? We only have a few more days left of school. Yeah, we're actually coming down to the last few days. We only have about eight, yeah, eight more days of school. And then finally school's over. Woo! No more assignments and now you can enjoy your summertime. So we have the last few days of school. So we only have a few more circle times left to go. So we're gonna do a little countdown from eight all the way until the end of school. And then this week is our last week for circle time videos. So we only have about three more circle time videos with just me and you together. So let's make the best of it, okay? All right, everyone at home, let's start our morning song. Hello, neighbor. And I hope you've been practicing because we're gonna need to sing it for graduation. All right, let's sing together. Hello, neighbor, what do you say? It's gonna be a happy day. Greet your neighbor, boogie on down. Give a bump and turn around. Great job, everybody. I love when you sing with me. All right, for today's activity, we're gonna get right into a special book. And it's about butterflies. Because yesterday we learned about butterflies and how butterflies transform. And I used a really big word when butterflies and caterpillars go through a change. It's called metamorphosis. And everyone on my Flipgrid assignment who used that word, kiss your brain. That was fantastic because that was a very big word. So the book I wanna read to you today is about butterflies and caterpillars. And it's a book that we've read before. It's called The Very, oh, I was gonna say Grouchy. The, that's a different book, right? That's the Ladybug book. This is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Do you see the title? Where is it? Yep, right there on the top corner. And it says, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And what do you see on the cover? A caterpillar, right. That's phase two of the metamorphosis stage. A very big caterpillar. So while we read this story, we're gonna see how the caterpillar transforms into a butterfly. Let's get started. Here's the title page, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. What do you see right there on that leaf? What is that? An egg, right? Because phase one of the butterfly life cycle is an egg. So there he is. In the light of the moon, a little egg laid on a leaf. On Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out the egg came a very tiny, hungry, what is that? Caterpillar! Is he big or small? Right, he's small or tiny. He wanted to look for some food. So on Monday, he ate through one apple. But on Tuesday, he ate through two pears. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. Count them with me. One, two, three. But he was still hungry. So on Thursday, he ate through, how many strawberries is that? Can you count them? Right, let's count them together. One, two, three, four. He ate through four strawberries. But he was still hungry. So he came across some delicious oranges. Can you tell me how many oranges are here? One, two, three, four, 
five. If you guessed five, you got it right. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. So on Saturday, he ate through a lot of food. He ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one cheese, one piece of salami, one piece of lollipop, pie, sausage, muffin, and a watermelon. Oh my goodness, he got such a tummy ache. Look at him. Oh, he doesn't feel well. Can you guess why he doesn't feel well? Right, he ate too much food. Let's go down the line and I want you to tell me which one you think is healthy. If you think it's healthy, give me a thumbs up. If you think it's not a healthy food, give me a thumbs down. You ready? Cake, is that healthy or not healthy? Boo, not healthy. How about ice cream? Boo, not healthy. How about a pickle? Yeah, pickle's okay. How about cheese? Yep, that's okay. How about a lollipop? Nah, that's bad for your teeth. How about pie? Nah, not good for you. How about salami? Eh, salami's okay. I'd give it a little thumbs up. A muffin? Nah, a lot of sugar in muffins. And how about the watermelon? Yeah, watermelon's very healthy. But the poor caterpillar ate too much junk food and now he has a tummy ache. The next day, it was Sunday, and the caterpillar saw a nice, juicy, green leaf. Now, do you think this is healthy for the caterpillar? Give me a thumbs up if you do. Yes. So he ate through that green leaf. Can you guys at home help me eat the green leaf? Come on, everyone help me. Go. And he felt much better. Look, he's happy now. Oh my. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. He wasn't little anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. And then he decided to build a small house called a, do you remember what this is called? A cocoon or a chrysalis. He called this place a cocoon and he wrapped it around himself. He stayed inside for two weeks. Then when he was ready, he nibbled a hole in the cocoon. And he pushed and he pushed and he pushed and he bit until he can rip out of this cocoon. And what do you think happened at the end? What do you think came out of that cocoon? Right, it was a beautiful butterfly. Look how pretty. Let's see if we can see if this is still an insect. Now, Miss Kelly said that an insect has to have six legs. Do you see six legs? Yep, look, they're still down there. There's one, two up top, those are his arms, and then he's got four on the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five, six. He's got six legs, he's got the three body parts, and he's got the two feelers. So he's still an insect. He's just an insect with big, huge, beautiful wings, right? The end. Thanks for reading along with me with the very hungry caterpillar. And in this book, the caterpillar went through metamorphosis. Stage one was the egg. Stage two was the caterpillar. Stage three, was the cocoon or chrysalis. And stage four was the butterfly. Right, that's the best part. All right, guys, thanks for reading along with me, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Now, if you wanna wa read along with this story again, you can go to Miss Kelly's Bedtime Stories and listen to that story on my YouTube channel. 
Everyone have a fantastic Wednesday. And before we leave, let's do a quick countdown to 100, okay? Get your hands ready. Okay, let's do it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Great job, everybody. Bye, boys and girls. Big hugs. And I will see you on Thursday. Bye.